now student we are going to discuss question number 9.19 and in this question it is given to you a mild steel wire of 1 meter and cross sectional area 0.50 into 10 to the power minus 2 centimeter square is stretched well okay within its elastic limit horizontally between two pillars fine a mass of 100 gram is suspended from midpoint of a wire fine calculate the depression at midpoint so now fully concentrate on this uh, screen clear my dear student this question is actually very good question and most probably this type of question you will find when you will move to higher classes let's suppose if you adopt uh, civil engineering let's suppose if you adopt mechanical engineering at that time uh, you will find a particular strength of material subject in this you will find this type of question uh, and, and there you will utilize differentiation or integration approaches clear but can we solve this question here yes we can solve it clear so how how can we solve this problem so for that one concentrate on a script now listen carefully in this question it is given to you let's suppose we have a pillar so let's suppose i am saying this is one pillar let's suppose this is another pillar clear let's suppose we stretch a wire between these two pillars clear to you and let's suppose i am assuming distance between these two pillars we have that is 2l clear distance between these two pillar is given to you twice of l clear to everyone done now just yes now we can say let's suppose uh, if we place a weight at the midpoint of this wire at the time what will happen at that time actually this wire becomes like this yes or no clear clear so let's suppose at the time i am saying let's suppose here you can place this is w clear and we are having here a sagging this is known as sagging clear and i am saying this value we have x clear and definitely you know this value we have l and this one value we have l clear let's suppose i am saying this is theta this one is also theta clear now let's suppose i am saying this is a point this is b and let's suppose this is o clear so first can we calculate here what is change in length we are getting yes how can we calculate so change in length this is given by i can say ao plus ob minus we can say twice of l yes or no so now what is value of ao listen carefully now actually we know if we concentrate on aco clear this is a right angle triangle if you concentrate on ACO, this is right angle triangle. So right angle triangle, it means you can apply here Pythagoras theorem. So we can write like this value of delta L. This is given by AO under root of L square plus X square. Clear? Same value you will getting for OB. Clear? Under root of L square plus X square minus. Clear? Minus. We can say this is equal to twice of L. Clear to everyone? So now from here we can say this is equal to twice of under root of L square plus X square minus 2L. Clear? Now what I am doing here? I am taking here 2. This is X square plus L square power half minus 2L. Clear? Now let's suppose I am saying this X is very very less compared to or actually you can also write like this. First I am taking this L square common. So this is L. I can say 1 plus x square upon l square this is power half minus 2l clear now actually we can apply here this is 1 plus x to the power n clear so 1 plus x to the power n it means we can write this is 1 plus nx clear when because this uh, ratio x square upon l square is very very less compared to value 1 clear so we can write like this twice l 1 plus i can say this is 1 by 2 x square upon l square clear and i am taking here this is also in this bracket clear so from here we can say one and one this one is cancelled out clear to everyone yes now from here we can see what is change in length we are getting change in length we are getting 2l and we have here 2l square so i can say this is x square divided by l so my dear student can we calculate here strain yes strain is also calculated by delta l by 2l how can we uh, because we can say original length we have 12 and change in length we are getting delta l so from here we can say x square divided by twice l square clear to everyone so this is one of the result that we are getting strain if we are talking about strain that is produced in this wire this is equal to x square upon 12 square clear now now concentrate on this screen
Yes. Now from here you can see, uh, let's suppose if I am saying to you, let's suppose here we have tension T1 and let's suppose here we are having tension T2. Clear? Or actually you can say you are placing this at a midpoint. So definitely T1 and T2 it will be same. Clear? So I am saying here this is T1 and let's suppose this is this one. Both are having same. Clear? So I can say let's suppose tension T. Clear? Now we can say if I take here two components of a tension in an upper direction both will be T cos theta. Clear? In this direction we will find this is T sin theta and this one is also T sin of theta. Clear? So from here you can write like this 2T cos of theta this should be equal to W. Clear? 2T cos theta this should be equal to W. Now my objective in this question is to calculate cos theta. So if, if I consider here right angle triangle ACO. Clear? From here I can say value of cos theta this is given by x upon under root of x square plus l square. Clear to everyone? So now we can write here like this. Uh, okay, first we calculate here value of cos theta. So from here if I take here common I can say this is 1 upon uh, if I am taking here l square. So how can we write this is important. So okay can we write like this x upon l square plus x square power half we can write like this clear now cos theta this is equal to x upon I am taking here l common clear so l square common so we can say here we have power half so this becomes l I can say this is 1 plus x square divided by l square power half clear now we can say this x is very less compared to 1 clear now we can say this x is very less compared to 1 clear so can we write like this we can say cos theta cos theta this is equal to x by l clear we are getting this one is very less compared to x so I can say cos theta this is equal to x by l clear to everyone yes so now we can put this value in this equation 2t cos theta equal to w now you can say sir what you are doing actually my objective in this question first to calculate tension clear so now now I am removing this one now from here we can see value of t this is given by w upon 2 cos of theta clear w upon 2 value of cos theta we have x by l clear so from here you can write like this t this is given by uh, w w l upon twice x clear to you yes now now if I find here because my objective here is to calculate depression depression means value x clear so can I say, uh, can we calculate here value of stress? Yes. Stress, we can say this is given by T by A. Or we can say this is equal to WL over 2AX. Clear? Now, can we calculate here Young's mod? Uh, can we calculate here value of Young's modulus? Yes or no? Yes. We can calculate. Clear? Now listen carefully. So, now if I write here, my objective is very clear to find value of strain yes or no so we can write like this uh, Young's modulus Young's modulus is given by stress over strain clear value of stress we have stress value is given to you WL over 2AX WL over 2AX and it is divided by I can say strain strain is given to you this is X square divided by twice L square so from here you can say Y Y this value is given to you W uh, we can say 2 and 2 cancel out W L cube divided by we can say A X cube clear so from here can we calculate value of X yes definitely I can say value of X cube this is given by W L cube divided by A Y clear now I can write here value of X clear so value of X this is given by L uh, this is given by L w upon a by it power 1 by 3 clear so now i can put here value x clear value of x this is given by l l is given to you 1 meter so i am writing here 1 w so weight weight is given uh, 100 gram mass we have so we can say this is mg yes or no so we can say this is 0 0.1 kg or multiply by 10 i can say this is 1 divided by cross sectional area area is given to you uh, 5 0 0.5 it means 1 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 centimeter square I can convert into meter square like this 
clear now value of young's modulus this is steel wire so for steel wire you can say we have 2 into 10 to the power 11 clear and we can say this is power 1 by 3 i can say this one and this one cancelled out we have 10 to the power minus 6 this is 11 so 10 to the power 5 yes so we can say 1 upon 10 to the power 5 and power 1 by 3 clear so actually you can also write like this uh, let's suppose if i say this is 1000 or okay you can do it uh, like this 1 upon this one clear now let's suppose if inside i multiplied with 10 and divide with 10 clear if i divide if i multiplied with 10 this become 10 to the power 6 and it will come out to be 100 so this is 1 by 100 and i can say this is 10 to the power 1 by 3 clear so now if you take here square root clear like uh, square root of 8 we have 2 so 2 point something clear so we are getting here value of x uh, that is near about uh, we can say 2 point something something clear so if we exactly write here all the values clear so we will get here this is near about 2 centimeter clear so or actually we can say here this is 2 centimeter approximately you will get 2 centimeter clear to you so like this we can calculate uh, here sagging sagging portion or we can say the amount of this uh, the amount by which this uh, we can say mild, mild steel wire this sex uh, this seg when when we attach a, a particular weight on the, at the midpoint of this wire clear to everyone so this is all about this question so important part in this question we have only that one that how can we proceed first we find here change in length then we find here strain after strain we find here uh, definitely a relation between tension and weight 2t cos theta equal to w then we find value of cos theta then we find tension after that we find stress after that we find young's modulus clear and after that we can calculate value of x clear so this is all about this question